This is breaking news from Channel 3 Eyewitness News. We're live at 8.54 and we will return to NBC shortly. But first, this breaking news update involving the bus crash in Meigs County. The Tennessee Highway Patrol just moments ago confirmed that two people were killed in that head-on crash involving Meigs County School Bus 12-1, which was headed south on Highway 58 and a utility service vehicle headed north. Now, one of the victims was a seven-year-old girl. The other was the bus driver, a female. It happened just after four o'clock today. There were multiple injuries. Five students were transported via air, two by ground transportation to hospitals. There were 22 students on that Meigs County school bus. Those who were not injured were taken to Meigs South Elementary, where the Highway Patrol is based tonight. The Highway Patrol says the bus driver had no opportunity to stop to avoid that crash. It was unavoidable. And they confirmed the utility truck driver is being treated for minor injuries. Certainly, many families are hurting this evening, and this is physically and emotionally. Blood Assurance has opened their four locations late tonight. They'll be open till 10. There are long lines reported at most of the locations. If you're unable to help the victims of the Meigs County bus crash tonight, we encourage you to do so tomorrow. Call and make an appointment either Hickson, downtown Chattanooga, Gun Barrel Road, and Cleveland. Once again, that's appointment only. And the video you see here is from the Blood Assurance Cleveland location. As we said, there are long lines at each of the Blood Assurance locations this evening. Folks wrapped around the buildings wanting to donate. Greg Glover is among those donating blood tonight. He tells us the Hamilton County downtown location across from UTC Arena is quite busy as well. And Blood Assurance has been in desperate need of donations even prior to this. And uh, tonight, of course, they really need the blood to treat trauma patients. The blood bank is going to start sending coolers of blood that maybe have six uh, red blood cell units and six plasma units. And they can go through several of those coolers of blood before they figure out your type and get you to the right type. So of all the blood types, which we need them all right now, but we in particular need O positive and O negative in order to support trauma patients. So we could not emphasize this enough. The need is great. And you can make an appointment either online at bloodassurance.org or by calling the number on your screen, 1-800-962-0628. As a result of this tragedy today, Tennessee Education Commissioner Penny Schwinn said, I and the entire staff of the Department of Education are deeply saddened to hear about the fatal bus crash in Meigs County. No words can express our sympathies for those lives that were lost. We send our deepest condolences to the students, families, school staff and leaders, district staff, and the entire Meigs County community affected by this tragic accident, and we wish healing for those injured. So once again, if you're just joining us, very sad day, seven-year-old girl and a bus driver, female bus driver, both killed today uh, among the 22 on board several other injuries, many of them serious, uh, some critical. Five children were airlifted, two taken by ground, and this is involving the Meigs County school system. And our hearts go out to the families, police officers, EMS, medical workers, dispatchers, first responders, and educators who are affected by this very sad day. We'll continue to follow up with information tonight at 11. And uh, again, our thoughts and prayers go to all of our friends and neighbors in Meigs County. I'm David Carroll for Channel 3 Eyewitness News.